Hi, I'm Del and welcome to today's class. Today we're going to be talking about pronunciation, okay? So pronunciation mistakes and tongue twisters. So this is an interesting lesson and it's a fun lesson as well. But before we do so, let's look at what we did last time. So last time I did a lesson on a book, a movie and a song in London. Okay, so I gave you lots of different um, examples. So I hope you can, you've watched the class because if you want to watch it again, you know you can do so, but I will explain that in a minute. So this was about how to learn English through songs with books and movies as well. And we concentrated on one uh, destination. So you got some interesting London related facts. So like I was saying, if you want to watch the class again, you know you can do so. You go back onto our Facebook page, select the video that you want to watch, the class that you want to watch, and then you can watch it okay as many times as you like it will always remain there you can send some comments and we can always reply to you that's not a problem but for today we're going to be looking at pronunciation mistakes as you know okay English is not actually pronounced the way it's spelled and that's often a problem uh, so many words in English aren't pronounced as they are spelled like I've just said Tip one is to listen to as much English as possible. So in the end, you don't look at the spelling, but you listen to the sound, okay? And learn to use the phonetics as well. I mean, I, 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 I love phonetics and I think it's definitely the way forward, okay? So um, what I'm doing today is I decided to build a list of some of the words that some of you you may pronounce the wrong way, okay, because of the way it's spelt. So the first one here is vegetables, okay, so vegetables. The other one, we don't say the L, it's salmon, okay. I don't want to say it wrong, so don't want you to make mistakes. So remember, we don't pronounce the L, it's salmon. Busy, even though it's a U, it's busy. Here, some people don't know sometimes how to say this one, okay? February, okay? February, a little bit harder, right? So let's continue. Then he, this one, literature. So here we're missing out the E, I believe, literature. This one is a real strange one because it's spelled the French way, but it's not pronounced the French way at all. It's actually Köln, okay? And like, what's that? It's nothing to do with how it's spelled, Köln. Library, I say library. Some people may say library, library. And height and weight as well. So, I don't want to give you too many words so you don't get confused, but practice them, repeat them when you watch the class again. Now, tongue twisters. These are funny. I get them wrong myself as well, so don't be surprised. What are they? They're a word or sequence of words, so lots of different words together. Difficult to pronounce, especially when they are together and when you have to pronounce them rapidly, which I'm not very good at doing, okay? Because there is a slight variation of consonant sounds. The sounds are kind of similar, they're not the same, they're similar, so if you say too quickly, you, you, you know, it's, it becomes difficult. So one of the example here, but I'm going to say it slow, is she sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Here, the thing is the sh and the s, okay? So that's why we're mixing both. Try to say that quickly, it's difficult. So people often laugh. It's usually when you get to primary school that you find out about those things and you have a laugh with your friends. I've got a few more here, so let's say it's slow, okay? She saw Sharif's shoes on the sofa, but, but was, she, was she so sure those were Sharif's shoes she saw, okay? That's the fastest I can go. She saw Sharif's shoes on the sofa, but was she so sure those were Sharif, Sharif's shoes she saw? It's really hard. Again, is the sh, the s, and the sand, u, shu, u, and o, okay? So it's a mixture here of, of sounds. Then, a loyal warrior will rarely worry why we rule. There's a lot of r here, a lot of 
R and a W. A loyal warrior will rarely worry why we rule. That sounds really strange. And often these sentences don't mean anything at all. Uh, the next one, which which switch the Swiss wrist watches? <laughs> so let's do it again. Which which switched the Swiss wrist watches? I'm finding this one really hard. So can you see here? It's the W sound and the ch sound. We've watches, we've switched, with which, and with which. So difficult, but if you didn't know them, maybe you can practice. And you can, I'm sure you can find them on the internet and you can, you can practice your speed. Some more here, okay? Um, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. So here there's a lot of pepper. Pa -pa -pa. It's good to pronounce your P here, okay? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peppers. Another one. How can a clam cram in a clean cream can? So again, this one is difficult, the k and the an. How can a clam cram in a clean cream can? It's easy to put one word, I mean, of course, I'm reading them now, so it's easier. But if you don't read them, I can't even do that. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. This is a famous one, okay? Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Right. So you've got a few to have fun with. Let's practice together. I've got a, some questions for you. Do you have tongue twisters in your own language? So maybe you could send them, uh, you know, through the comments to see, uh, show us to see what they are. And also, can you think of three words you find difficult to pronounce in English? Yes, three words that you're not sure that you often make a mistake or the sound or maybe there is you add an extra syllable because then we can do a lesson around that to help you. So. While you do that, let me tell you about the other course. As you know, we've got this amazing course from beginners all the way to business level, 144 units, starts with a short ad film, lots of activities around, a test, video classes that will explain the grammar. You can actually become a free or a premium student. The difference is basically the free student has access to the first unit of every level and all the video classes as well while the premium students is a lot better option of course because you have access to all 144 units all the video classes all the films the test everything and on top of that you can write to your own teacher like teacher robin and she will reply to you very quickly explaining whatever you don't understand with the english language if you've got any questions so it's a very personal uh, thing as well okay and it's very flexible because you can learn you can study whenever wherever on your smartphone on your computer your tablet there's lots of different ways start with one device continue with another also we do lots of additional resources as you know the classes on facebook for free which are very useful for a lot of you we are on twitter we've got a youtube channel the classes are on there as well and we've got the abba journal where we talk about lots of different topics around the english language and culture as well so I really invite you to check that out. Um, okay, so please write your comments. I will be checking later. Let me know about your tongue twisters. Let me know about your difficult words so we can help you. And next time we're doing the difference between say and tell as well. Okay, so an interesting topic there for you to, to find out about because many of you always make that mistake. When do we say say? When do we say tell? There is a difference. It's not easy, so we will tell you. And turn on your notifications. And that's it from me. So thank you very much for your participation today. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.